was going on concerning the problem. So give me one uh, thing we can do to add value uh, and realize the value into oh. others. Oh, into that, oh, that's a great one. I'm, I'm going to give you like I gave my people today who came in. She was crying. And she told me she was through. I said, I don't think you're through yet because I don't see the hard enough tears yet at this point in time. Because now, see, when, when you come to me, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not the one with the blanket. I'm the one to say congratulations because it seems like you almost broken. But we fully broken, we can make it somewhere. Because mm -hmm. the hardest thing to do, if you bring me a glass full of muddy water of bad value and say, can you pour something in here? It's going to run over on my floor. So now I got value on my floor. And value is useless if it's not contained. Right. So now, how you add value? I told her to do me one favor for 60 days. One favor. Get up and thank the Lord that you woke up this morning, that you can breathe. That's, that's, that's humble. And uh, that's being humble. And that's paying homage every day. Mm -hmm. Because I think I told you a story about the man, uh, about the men who went to the moon, mm -hmm. came back to alcoholic and drunks. Right. Because... I don't think that they had a chance to really be humble and appreciative of the smallest things. Because if you're only appreciative of going to the moon and you finally get there, then what's left? Right. But now, if you're only appreciative of Gucci belts, what's left? If you're only appreciative of 200000 on the house, what's left? But now, if you start waking up every day, I ain't taking you to the hospital to get talk to the cancer patient. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't got that severe yet. Wake up every day and do one thing. Thank you, Lord, for me being able to breathe. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow come again. Thank you, Lord. When you be able to breathe. Then when the next day come in, 60 days. Thank you, Lord. You, to, you said, Marco, it sounds simple. It sounds corny. It sounds humble. But when I told her today, I said, when did you thank for waking up breathing? Because she told me today it's all bad. Uh, I said, leg and broke. She said, it may be better. Mm -hmm. So a broken leg, asking for money is going to be better for you? No, because why? Well, I got to ask, why do you specialize being a victim? Because it hurts my soul how America has broken our females down. To being comfortable with being a victim. Right. So even while you're talking to them, they're planning for what medicine they need to take. They plan for what friend they're going to call. And I say, be careful of being comfortable with being a victim. Why? Because with the world by Instagrams or, or Facebook or even cousins, the only time they want to hear is when you're going through misery. Oh, time's lost your job. Gee, just get something to drink. Oh, man. Right. Now misery love company. But you got to be careful because at that point in time, you got to understand why we took tests in school over words called spelling words. Mm -hmm. Because I still believe in magic and they still do cast spells. So, like, if I told Thomas, Thomas, I'm going to give you $50 in 30 minutes. 30 minutes come. Thomas, man, I've been thinking about no $50. But let 30 minutes come. I cast a spell on Thomas. Like, hey, man, Marco, you, where are the 50 at? I said, I'm just playing with you. Huh. No, Thomas, a fit. Guess what? You won't feel like that none of the day, none of the days, but I cast a spell on you. Right. So, like I told my cousin today, some, some words I hate to hear, trying and tired. Well, cuz, you got to try. No, you don't. Either I'm going to pick him up or not pick him up. I ain't going to try to pick him up. If I'm trying to pick him up, my arms hurt, my muscles hurt, am I trying? Mm -hmm. And then people say, I tried everything. Okay, name me five of them. Man, you know what I'm saying? You say you tried everything, that's name five. Right. So until we know how to take emotion away and, and actually own, listen to you, so it's three things I'm asking. Be humble and thanks for breathing every day, mm -hmm. 60 days. Yeah. Try your best. Listen to every word you say mm -hmm. so you can own every last one of them. That's right. Don't practice being a hypocrite. Because if you pay attention to, see, people good pay attention to the windows. They love window shopping, looking out of windows. They don't like mirrors. So now in that mirror, like somebody said the other day, Lauren Hill apologized for uh, child abuse on her daughter and causing PTSD. I know Lauren Hill lost her mind back in the day, so I can't say what her daughter went through. Mm -hmm. But I tell the same people, when she finished, I need them to exit that same turn lane. They want her to exit. Because until we show that we all in this boat together and we all have been part of the same mistakes, how we expect this generation to learn anything? Right. Or we'll teach how to pick and choose your sin bigger than my sin. You got a 50%, I got 30% sin. I say I ain't never known to have weights to our sins. Mm -hmm. So, to be a value, you got to be humble, and you got to practice being humble. Because when you practice being humble, then you go be tricked with trading your time away for a debt receipt called money, 
for some material things that you transfer your value into, then you wake up at night saying, what's wrong with me? Because right. it just hurts my soul that it is a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. That so many pretty females in this world, beautiful females in this world, that this world takes time slowly extracting their value from them to the fact that they feel they got to get it back with nails, hair, compliments, job titles, all them things. But like I asked you today, what did you dream about doing at 11? You, she said paying bills. I said, I never know a girl dream about paying bills. Right. I know girls dream about eating at night, maybe crying that their parents can't pay the bills. But until we get back honest with ourselves, because right now what's missing? Us. I'm leaving with this old African proverb says, if you have no enemy inside, the enemy on the outside can do you no harm. Mm -hmm. Life's only 10% what happened to you, 9% respond to it. If two people lose their legs in car accident, one might decide to sell drugs and kill other people. But one might decide to make it possible for a person with no legs to get around even better. Right. So what's your value? That's right. And you start value with just one step at a time. Being humble and being appreciative of simple things that we look past. Mm -hmm. Like I told her, or you have no known ailment right now. All your legs and arms work. And she said she won't get her daughter back. I said, and I guess people hate when I look in the face and say, why? Mm -hmm. You're not in the shape to have your daughter. You don't have you. Right. I'm holding my son right now, but how can I hold my son if my back hurt, Thomas? How can I hold my son if I'm leaning all down like this and all like that? Mm -hmm. Like I ask people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, anybody that raised a garden before or flowers or something like that that takes time, peeling, milling, and getting up out the ground, or even contract work. It's all ugly first is a hard thing. But at the end comes the fruit. Right. But you gotta find the excitement and the purpose in doing that. Just like when I say you, when you showed me the tape of you redoing rooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. The end, when you see all that, but to you, I bet the feeling comes when you see something that's nothing. And every minute you put another second of creation in there or clean the house. Because yeah, right. you see something nobody can see. Cause I'm like, man, I can't get this clean, man. I'm about to clean all the crap up, man. Fuck this shit. Man. I'm burn this house down. You you come and say, man, man, this is brand new. You say, how? Man, I'm going to set it on fire. And you clean up and say, man, here, going to take that. So, And that's why I say I love the fact that you get a chance to experience your rewards. In the, <laughs> that's what you laugh at that. And that's why he's so bad. Because he's sleep. Yeah, but man, it's that, and I leave with this. Like I asked her today, I said, I don't get up with my bill problems on front of my brain. It used to. But I asked myself, if I got $300 out of bill problem today, and I spoke for my whole life on $300, right? A whole day today, $300, I need $300, I need $300. What if the day was supposed to make $1,000 a day? Right. So I limit myself to three? Now, when I limit myself to three, I put myself through extra anxiety to get to three. So now, I'm not focused on trying to be, uh, provide the best service of what I'm doing. I'm going to focus on that bill. So when your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you wake up in the morning and be thankful for your breath, your energy going to flow to thankfulness. Yes, you right. put yourself in thankfulness. And once you get in thankfulness, you enter bliss, that's called giving yourself a tool and a skill set. Because tomorrow, it might be hard again. But now it gets it again. It's these days. Thank you again. So all I'm doing is giving you little bitty tools used to be able to